Alright, here's the Drift HD 170 Stealth. And this is how you take it apart to get uh, your new lens in there, probably the 2.8mm lens. First thing is take the eight screws that are on the back of your Stealth out. Once you get them all removed, the whole back piece should come off. Then you'll notice there is a battery compartment. That thing can be taken out, as well as the spring that's just underneath it. Alright, the next thing you remove is there's two little rubber pieces that pinch the lens in place. You can take those out so you don't lose them or they'll just kind of fall out. Um, they're each on both the sides. Then what you're going to do is take the outer uh, rubber ring that's around the whole drift and stretch it over the, over the lens so you can actually get the screws out that you need to get out. Now you'll notice that there's four screws on the circuit board that connect the lens to the camera. What you want to do is remove the four screws. Um, sometimes there might be a screw that has hot glue uh, that was all over it. The best way to get to that screw is basically just take a heat gun or a lighter and just uh, heat up the tip of your screwdriver and then let it melt the glue while you're uh, unscrewing the screw. All right, now that you got that removed, um, the next thing is uh, to take the lens and shaft out of the, the cover that's in front of the drift and it should just easily come out. Now you just have the lens and the shaft. Basically unscrew your original lens that's in there and you can put in your new 2.8 or whatever lens you ordered from us into the shaft. So once we get somewhat set in, we can put uh, the lens shaft back onto the circuit board by just uh, putting the two screws on. We don't even need to put the cover back on at this time. Now once you get both those screws in and it's tight, next thing is to put back the battery compartment and the spring. You'll see that the spring kind of just slides and there's a little hole there and then uh, that goes there and then you can put uh, the battery in and actually power on your drift and use the LCD screen that's on it to make your lens in focus. If you're having problems focusing it with a little LCD screen you can use the AV output to actually connect to a bigger screen to get more exact focus. And once it's in focus then you can put your cover back on and basically reverse the whole process that we just went through. Don't forget about your two uh, rubber side pieces which help uh, the lens uh, rotate. Once you got everything lined up, then put the back cover back on. It should snap right back into place. Make sure that the, the sides of the rubber seals are sitting correctly. And once that's all done, then you can uh, screw in all the eight screws then you have a new Drift HD 170 with your new lens all installed on it. Brought to you by Rage Games.